Andrea Tontaros, a Fox News broadcaster, filed a sexual harassment lawsuit Monday against Fox News. Former CEO Roger Isles and other Fox executives, another highly charged legal challenge for the conservative-leaning news network as it seeks to get past the turbulent management change triggered by a similar case. Fox News masquerades as defender of traditional family values, but behind the scenes, it operates like a sex-fueled, playboy mansion-like cult, steeped in intimidation, indecency, and misogyny, according to her lawsuit filed in the New York Supreme Court in New York County. The lawsuit, whose defendants also include Fox News co-president Bill Schein, communications chief Irena Briganti, general counsel Diane Brandy, and Suzanne Scott, executive vice president of programming and development, comes two weeks after Tantaro's complaint about her experience to New York Magazine. Fox News said it doesn't comment on pending litigation. Isles lawyer, Susan Estrick, couldn't immediately be reached for comment. In early July, former Fox News broadcaster Gretchen Carson sued Isles for sexual harassment, claiming that the 76-year-old executive decided not to renew her contract after she refused to sleep with him. She also alleged that Isles ignored her reports of disparaging treatment in the newsroom. Isles has denied the allegations. After an internal investigation by 21st Century Fox, the parent of Fox News, Isles stepped down on July 22 and left the company with a $40 million severance package. Carson's lawsuit, filed only against Isles, is ongoing.